Hi, and welcome back to the WCPS Video Repository. Today we're talking about Facebook. And as a quick reminder, the last time we met, we talked about creating a page. A Facebook page, remember, is visible by everyone. Um, so people can search Facebook and find it. So if you're a third grade teacher at Cascade and your uh, page name is Cascade Grade 3 and somebody searches it, they'll be able to find you. If you're a little more concerned about privacy, you may wish to consider creating a group instead of creating a page. A group is a great way to get the information out there to those who you want to get it, but you restrict who can actually see it. Okay? All right, so we, as you can see, we're logged into Facebook today. I'm logged in as me. Last time we were together, we created the WCPS Instructional Technology page. And again, it's pretty much open and out there for anyone to see. To create a group, all you need to do is come up to your upper right-hand corner, come down to create a group. Now, as it's starting to create my group, I need to come up with a name for it. So I'm going to call this one WCPS Instructional Technology Closed Group. And I'll explain what that means in just a second. Um, next, I'll need to figure out who do I want to be a member of this. So let me choose a few of my great friends, Amber Madigan and Danielle. And let's make um, Donna French a member of this. And then one more. Let's get one of our big wigs in here, Dr. Kahanic. And notice that it also does make suggestions for me if there's people that it feels like I contact with frequently, I can choose those here. I do want to add this group to my favorites because this will be a group I go back to frequently. If it's not a group you're going to visit frequently, you may not want to add this to your favorites. Okay, our next thing is we have to decide who is going to see our group. If we make it a public group, anyone out there in Facebook land can see our group. It can see the members of our group, and it can see their pits. So it's kind of wide open as well. It's very similar to a page. If I create a closed group, anyone in Facebook land can find our group and they can see who's in it, but only our members can see the post. They'll just see that the group exists and they can ask to be a part of this group. Finally, we have a secret group. And a secret group only allows members to find and see the post. So if I'm not a member of it and I search for the WCPS instructor, Instructional Technology Closed Group, I would not even be able to see that that group exists. So I'm going to create my closed group now. And as it's creating, it's going to ask me to choose an icon for our group. Lots of things in here. Um, I'm feeling a little beachy today, so maybe I want to choose sunglasses. Hit OK. And voila, my group is created. Of course, I can come in and upload a photo, or I can choose a photo that I already have downloaded. You'll see that I have joined the group, but from here I can also unfollow the group, which doesn't delete it, it just means that I won't get notifications about it, or I can completely leave the group. I can share this group with others. Um, my notifications are here. I can see that the notifications are turned on. And I also have three little dots at the end, meaning there's a few more things. If I were to want to add people, I could click on Add People. I could manage my group and um, remove people from it. I could send a message to this group. I could create an event that is just for this group. So if I wanted to say, hey guys, let's get together Wednesday night at 7 and share some ideas about instructional technology, I could create that event. I can edit my group settings. Again, I can add it to favorites. Now, I can report this group. So if we got a little crazy and went a little wild and somebody reported the group, it would go to Facebook who would then determine if this um, group needed to be removed. So it was okay. I can hide the group, which means I can still search for it and find it, but I'm not going to receive the notifications. Or I could create another new group from here. Okay? Alrighty, so we're on our page. We are ready to go. Our group is set up. 
It is a closed group. So again, what this means is that anyone can search for the group and find it and see who's a part of it, but they're not going to be able to see what we post in here. So I'm just going to put a brief description for those that I invited, that I am creating a group for a video repository. Oh, I knew I spelled that wrong as I was typing it. Look at that. I spelled it so poorly that it doesn't know what it is. Repository. Creating a group for a video repository on Facebook. Okay, so I'm going to post that. And it's ready to go. So the people who are joined into the group with me, Amber, Jonna, Dr. Kahane, and Danielle, can all see this post, but they're the only people who can see the post. Okay, some other quick things. If you want to, you can create a group chat here and start a chat about things that are important to the group. You can, and when I say you, members of our groups, can message and invite other people by email, or they can send them a message through Facebook. We could add a description for our group. We could add tags to it. So many things that we can do on here, but notice you still have access to everything um, that you have for your other pages. So if I wanted to go back to my WCPS instructional technology page, I could click here. If I wanted to go to my personal page, I could click here. So my sidebar doesn't change a whole lot on here. Okay, thank you for joining me today. We have learned a little bit about groups and expanded a little more on pages. Next time we're going to talk about how to find friends. Thanks for joining me.